Good day, students. Today we're going to continue again. We look at yesterday. We looked at our page number. Today we are going to look at question four point ten and question four point eleven of our November twenty seventeen external exam question paper. So let's start off by going to our question paper and see what it tells us. It tells us 4.10. Insert an end note. Now please remember students, an end note and a footnote is done exactly the same way. The only thing that changes is you choose either an end note if they ask an end note or a footnote if they ask for a footnote. In this situation they ask for end note. So they tell me, insert an end note in bold where indicated in the text. So it means you can't just click anywhere, you must go to where the indicated. The text for the end note is as follows. Now this is important. First they tell you to insert an end note, so you're going to insert it. Then they tell you the text for the end note. It means then you have to type something. Now a lot of you remember to insert, but then a lot of you forget to type the text. So firstly, let's quickly go check where do I need to insert this end note. So you go to your question paper and you see right on your first page of your uh, document, you will have the surname and it tells you insert end note here. Now that star does not mean that you have to put a star. It's just showing you where to insert your end note. Also, please remember what we learned in class. Do not put your end note in front or in between the words. It's directly behind the word. No space. Let's go to Microsoft Word. We go to that surname. We click where it's indicated to us. Directly after the word, the surname. It's always directly after the word. So they tell, told us, insert an end note. Remember, an end note or a footnote is a reference. Please remember to use this dialog box for footnotes. Don't be tempted to use this because this will not give you all the options you always look for. So we go to footnotes. Even though this is an end note, it doesn't matter. I go to footnote. Now I've got the choice. Footnote or end note. Remember we do the end and footnote the same method. It's just where we click. Do we click end note or do we click footnote? This activity or question is an end note. So I click end note. They did not tell you to change to a star. The star is just there to show you this is where they want it. If they wanted you to change it to a star, you could go here to number format and then you could go and select whichever one they are. But they did not. Please leave it as it is. Now remember the first part told you insert a an end note. So we are inserting our end note. We click on insert. Now, remember what is the next part of your question? Let's go back and we go check. They said uh, insert an end note in bold. We'll put it in bold just now. We indicated in the text. So we have inserted it now. Now the text for the end note is as follows and this gives you after the double point it tells you this is what you have to type so let's go back to microsoft word please remember it must be in bold <coughs> sorry people please do not change this little sign today it must stay like that now in bold you type in what they told you they told you um the text for the end note is as follows and they said do this let me just take off my cap. Do this. Um, is not a real name. And that is all. Now you are done. You have inserted your end note. And then you have typed in your end note. And you are done with this instruction. Easy as that. There you will see your little end note over there. Even if I point to it, you'll see the text which I have typed. It shows there, Judith the Bumble is not her real name. 
And when you go down, you will see exactly the same words over there. So please remember to insert your text as well. Now your next instruction, 4.11, uh, 4.11, let's go there, done 4.10. 4.11 tells you find the word trial and replace it with HIV trial in capital letters and bold. So this means find and replace. Let's go to Microsoft Word. Best thing is to always start on top of your document. Otherwise, if you click, let's say over here, then it will search from here on downwards. So let's start on top of my document. Find and replace is in our home page. Or home ribbon we go to don't go to find go di directly to replace in replace I say find what and they told me find the word trial trial sorry and I'm going to go to word trial oh. just go back here click okay and it told me to replace it with the word HIV trial in capital letters and bold. bold. So, trial and HIV was supposed to be in front, so I'm just going to type HIV space trial. It tells me in uppercase and bold. You see it's already uppercase. Now, this words need to be in bold, so I highlight it. On my keyboard, I press the shortcut Control V. You see now it says bold. So, I highlight the word that I want to be in bold and I say Control B. Another method for you to do so is you go to More, you go to Format, you go to Font, which is Way, and then I choose Bold and I say OK. You see, then it also says Bold. Now I say Replace All. And I told you it made eight replacements. All I do now is I say OK and I close it. You will see there it's in bold. And then that is all for today. So all you do now is we're going to save this question. Let me just show you. It says save the question as question 4B. We are not finish yet. We still need to do a few things, but for now, I'm going to save this as question 4B. So you just say file, you say save as, not save, you need to save over. I already saved it as question 4B. I'm just going to say question 4B again, I click save, and it is done. See you tomorrow.